So, Donald Trump has won the election. I've kind of predicted it maybe three or four months ago based off of things I was seeing on Facebook and Instagram. But I recorded a video then and I didn't want to post it because I thought it would be a little divisive. But now it has happened. It's official. CNN just called it maybe like 15 minutes ago. And it's surreal. It's surreal. So this is just my thoughts on the situation and you know, kind of what to, what to do, where to kind of go from there. So we've relived, well, we've lived four years of Donald Trump presidency before. It was a bit of a shit show, to be honest. And the American public has decided this is what they want again. And he's already said what he was going to do. And it doesn't look good for certain demographics in the U.S., and I just hope that everything works out for them because this is what they voted for. Now, I will say that, you know, kind of thinking about things that people can do if they aren't, if, if they don't agree with the decision. As Americans, you have some options. I myself, after four years of Trump, decided that I didn't want another four years of Trump. So during Biden's presidency, I decided that I was going to find a way out. I did. I landed in Portugal. So there are options for you. There are visas that you can get to get the hell out of there. Technically, you have until January 20th. This is usually around the time during the inauguration when Trump gets back in power. You have until that date to try to get your passport. Because the, it's the first thing that you need to get out the country is a passport. And to explore your other options, decide you want to move to Mexico, Portugal, Southeast Asia, Thailand, whatever. You need a passport. You can't do shit without a passport. Uh, Japan is a good choice, too. So get your passport, people. That's the first thing. Get your passport. Then to start exploring your options. What type of climate you like? Are there races in certain countries? Do they have women rights in certain countries? What's the healthcare system like if you're, if you're an older person? You need to start doing your research now while you have time before this transition happens. And then you can decide what you want to do. But this is my initial thoughts. I, I can't say that I can't believe it because I, I knew it was going to happen. I just didn't think it would be such a landslide. And yeah. I, I feel for my 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 family, uh, people who didn't vote for this result, but majority of the country did, and uh, I'm glad I'm abroad, kind of looking at the the forthcoming shit show. So, good luck to you guys, and um, yeah, good luck. You're gonna need it. Peace.